We're going to go over three different ways to create a viral YouTube video with AI, and I think it'll blow your mind. And in the last one, we're going to get pretty creative. We're going to string together multiple AI prompts so that you have your own system because AI doesn't have to automate the entire process. It can actually enhance the creativity of making YouTube videos. So the first way is the most easiest, the most done for you way of doing all of this, where you're going to be in Cortex, you're going to go to chat, you're going to go to create, and then here at the very bottom, you'll see the YouTube newsletter or article draft flow. So this is specifically for people who don't know what to create about. They don't have ideas. They don't know what to do. All they have is a vague idea of who they want to help, what they want to talk about. But in terms of structuring a YouTube video in a way that captures attention and delivers some kind of value, they don't know what to do next. So we're going to start here. Once you click it, it pre-populates the actual input. And you're just going to give a very vague idea of what you think your target audience is. It can be very simple. I'm just going to say what the placeholder is, 20-year-olds who struggle with productivity. And then if you want to add a writing reference, you can insert one here. So I can put uh, either a newsletter. I can type at newsletter. I've written many newsletters inside of Cortex, so I already have those here. Or I can type at my voice and style, and I can add that here. If you want to create your own voice and style uh, thing, then you can toggle this off go back to the default ones and click on replicate any voice and writing style. And then you just paste your previous writing inside of here and it will give you a document that looks like this. And it just has a complete breakdown of everything involved with your writing style. So you can reuse this time and time again when it's time to write something in your own voice. So going back to this workflow, we can delete this section as a whole because I'm just not going to include that. I'll keep this input the same. You can pick any model you'd like here. I personally like Claude for writing, and then I'm gonna press enter and wait for it to generate. So you can see here that it spit out 10 newsletter headline ideas, and what it does behind the scenes is it researches the pain points and desires of that target audience. So these headlines are based off of that thing. So you can either pick any one of these, or you can add your own topic. So if you already have your own topic that you want to write about, you can just say proceed with the topic you want to write about. But for this one, we are going to go with uh, number 10. Sounds good. So pre proceed with number 10, which is the four part energy management system. We enter that. Now what it does here is it creates an outline for your YouTube video script, or it can be used as a newsletter or an article. But all of these are based off of the APAG writing framework, which means attention, perspective, advantage, gamify. So it captures attention, it establishes the perspective. So what's wrong and what's right? What's the wrong way of doing things? What's the right way of doing things? Which helps frame people's minds. And then it gives the actionable steps to overcoming the problem that was illustrated in the introduction. So this is based off of psychology. This is based off of uh, a script structure that works and holds attention. And if you'd like, you can just uh, save this as a document by clicking this button. It will add it to your sidebar. And then you can write the actual YouTube script if you'd like to then. But for the sake of <laughs> having AI do it for you, we're going to do it this way. But before you tell the AI to continue, it's worth looking through here and seeing if you want to add any of your own ideas. So I could look through here in uh, number four, the four part energy management system. There's energy mapping, deep work blocks, recovery rituals, environment design. I could say uh, in number four, add in something about removing distractions from your environment or whatever you've learned previously relating to what it is that you're writing about. But for this, I'm just gonna say continue with writing. And then it's going to start actually writing the YouTube script for you. And it's going to look like a newsletter or an article, but that's a good thing. You can post this to your blog. You can post this to Medium. You can post it to wherever you'd like, but this is meant to be a YouTube script. So now when you're going to actually create this video, the way that I like to create YouTube videos personally on my personal account with, I have like over a million subs. I've been doing this for a long time. This is how I created this entire workflow, but you have the document open on your computer or on your phone. 
and then you start reading it and then you just recite it to the camera and for parts that you don't want to mess up you just read straight from the screen and that's when when you go to edit the video you can add over text you can add images you can add b-roll footage or stock footage and that's just the simplest way to record a video in my opinion so once this is done generating you can go here create a document it will create this and then i can title this we're changing how this actually spits out documents but i can just say youtube script right and then i have this saved here i can organize it in folders because this cortex also doubles as a second brain where you can take all your notes and have all of your writing and all of that fun stuff but uh, for the sake of this video the second way to create a viral youtube video is to go to recreate a YouTube video with your ideas. So now what you do here is you're going to find a viral YouTube video, paste a link to it here, and then it will, what this specific workflow will do, will break down the structure of that viral video, and then you give it your own ideas or writing or whatever it may be. It will create a new YouTube outline and then rewrite it in your own voice. So I'm here on Ali Abdal's channel and I have filtered his videos by most popular. I'm going to take this one, it's 11 minutes long. It has a pretty catchy title. I'm just gonna go here, share, copy, and then press option K to bring Cortex back up. Also, if you have the desktop app in Cortex, you can open a floating AI chat with option A and floating capture with option C and a floating note or document with option uh, D. I actually have a floating document uh, open on the side with the entire script for this specific YouTube video that I'm filming right now. So we're gonna go back in here. We're going to replace this, paste the link to the YouTube video. You can see it will start to pull the context from that. And if I have specific ideas inside of a document, so maybe notes that I've taken previously on a book, maybe even uh, a source that I have in my library. So if you have all of these here um, or a PDF that you wanna drag in or just previous writing, I'm gonna use previous writing. So I'm gonna type at uh, newsletter, how to learn 10 times faster. So now what we're gonna do is break down the YouTube video on why you're always tired replicate the structure of it, and then put my own ideas from how to learn 10x faster inside of it. So we're gonna press enter, wait for it to generate. So once it's done generating, you can just see that it uh, an analyzes the structure of the first YouTube video, why you're always tired, it breaks down the length and word count, the title and main topic, the hook structure, introduction format, section breakdown, transition techniques, et cetera, et cetera. And then at the end it asks, would you like to proceed with creating a new outline based on this structure? I'm just gonna say yes. And this output is actually <laughs> really cool where it gives you title options. So why you're learning so slowly, seven myths ruining your progress, how to learn 10 times faster, Sabbath learning myths holding you back. Since the, the original YouTube video already went viral and already has a good title, this is kind of YouTube 101, is just restructuring titles that have already worked well with your own idea or with your own topic or whatever you're doing. Then it goes over the hook, the introduction, myth one, myth two, myth three, and these are all related to learning based on what I've already written, right? So that, that's pretty incredible. And then it says, would you like to me, would you like me to proceed with the full YouTube script? So if I don't have anything here that I want to change, I could say uh, change myth number six to the Zygarnik effect or something related to that and it will, but I'm just going to say continue for the sake of brevity. Okay, so I'm watching this as it outputs the actual script, and it's pretty surprising how well it bakes in the ideas that I had from my previous newsletter into this structure. So this is actually really crazy, where another YouTube 101 tip is that you want to find what it is that you want to talk about or does well for you, and then you want to uh, say the same thing a thousand different ways. So what you can do is if I want to talk about learning as my channel topic, then I can recreate different YouTube scripts based on different viral structures like this one and other ones. So I have multiple to pull from, but as you can see here, it rewrote it. It kept it around the same length. So after this, what you can do is again, turn it into a document. Now you have it here. I'm just going to say learning YouTube script. 
And another thing with these is you can reference these anytime with AI, right? And so it maps it all, it maps it all out here perfectly just for you to read and start creating YouTube video. So now we're going to do something pretty special. We're going to go back to chat, but this time we're not going to start with any of these pre-made workflows. We're actually going to do something more custom just so you understand the process of creating things with AI more so that you can get very creative and do more things yourself to automate different parts of your workflow beyond just YouTube videos. So if I go to YouTube, you can see that I typed in how to create a viral YouTube video. This one seems to do pretty well or has done pretty well. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the link to this. You should probably watch it first if you want to, but I'm not going to here. And what I'm going to type here inside of the prompt is break down this video into nuanced steps for how to create a viral YouTube video from generating the initial idea to script writing. Uh, do not include any advice on thumbnails. Keep it to idea generation and YouTube scripting. And then I'm going to paste the YouTube video here. And what I hope this does, you never know with AI, is that it breaks it down and gives me something that I can then put into AI to help me create a prompt, a good prompt, that will allow me to put my own ideas into there and create a viral YouTube video. So I'm going to press enter. Okay, so it gave us seven steps for creating a viral YouTube video. And you can read through this if you'd like, but what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to turn this into a document again, and it's going to be called How to Create YouTube Videos. And now what we're going to do is go back to chat. We're going to go to the Write Incredible AI Prompts. And what I want to do here is I want to create an AI prompt that guides me through coming up with an idea for a viral YouTube video, outlining the script, and then writing the script based on this document at how to uh, create YouTube videos. And then I'm going to say this uh, just to structure it more. It has to follow three phases. One is idea generation, two, outline creation, and three is video scripting. The user should approve each step before continuing. Your goal is to spit out a viral YouTube video. So we can probably make this a bit better, but I'm gonna hit enter just for the sake of it. So what this did is it spat out a system prompt that we can use over and over again with any AI tool to create YouTube videos based off of our ideas. So if you don't know what a system prompt is, it's just a better way of starting a chat in AI, uh, much better than just writing one sentence and expecting it to do all of the work for you. So you can read through this if you want, but it just gives the AI instructions to go through phase one, idea generation, phase two, outline creation, phase three, script writing, based on the summary of the how to create viral YouTube videos video that we summarized previously. So we're going to take this, create a new document, and I'm just going to name this uh, YouTube system prompt. And you can store all of your prompts inside of a folder somewhere inside of your documents, but make sure you remove this first part of the AI response. Uh, and this should all be good to go. So I'm <laughs> testing this right here and right now, but I can either reference this in an AI chat, but I just want to test it by copying and pasting it. So I'm going to paste it in here and just, just see what it says. So what it did after sending this is it's just asking me a few clarifying questions to continue since I didn't already provide those. So I'm just going to answer these really quick. All right, so I'm trying to make this a bit difficult for the AI for saying something pretty broad and something that is difficult to make go viral. So philosophy and writing, how to stop being so anxious as my channel niche, 
20 to 30 year olds as my target audience, overcoming your limiting beliefs as specific content areas I'm passionate about, I'll send that. All right, so it's spat out four potential ideas for me. Idea one, the 30 day mind rebuild challenge. That's okay as a video topic. I personally don't think it would do too well. You could restructure this. Uh, I think this may just be an idea rather than the title, but nah. Um, five philosophical principles that eliminated my anxiety forever. That's polarizing. That's a, a good statement. It works. How the most resilient people think. Seven mental models that change everything. Those two are good. The writing exercise that destroyed my limiting beliefs. Science explains why. And it goes over the description, viral potential, estimated audience size. This is <laughs> pretty good for just a system prompt we created really fast. So... Uh, which idea resonates the most? I personally think idea three would probably do the best just from my intuition. So I'm going to say continue with idea three. All right. So this is pretty cool with the outline where it starts with the video purpose. Do, no feel. Has the hook with a provocative question, brief teaser or transformation, introduction, and then the sections with the seven mental models. Starts with a very unique one. I haven't heard this before. The dichotomy of control goes into the maps, not the territory, inversion thinking, probabilistic thinking. I've heard of some of these, memento mori, systems versus goals, the growth mindset. So uh, it has a mixture of common and, I guess, esoteric mental models, which is a good thing because if it's too basic, then everyone knows it. If it is too esoteric, then it may fall flat. So you want a good mixture of those things, which is awesome. But again, you can always ask AI like, hey, replace this one with another one that you know of and you can go from there. But if you approve the outline, uh, do you want to write the full script? Write, write the full script. Okay, so the output of this one is actually pretty cool. It tried to do it in a table, which is interesting. Um, so if you want it to do that, you can have it do that. If you don't, then you could probably go back to the actual system prompt and you could tell it in the constraints or in the output format, like, hey, don't output this in a table, just output it as a pure text markdown format and it'll be a lot easier to transfer over into a document. But you can see here that it's actually pretty cool what it's doing, where it has each section, it has the script, and it has the visual direction, uh, B-roll, personal story shot, split screen, animations, montage, images, really cool. So it's both the visual aspect and the script itself. So I could just write here like, hey, write this out as a plain old script, and it would. But reading through this is actually pretty freaking good, right? That's a great YouTube video, and I feel like it could go quite viral. So something you can do there, and then it goes over some thumbnail concepts, even though I told it not to. So again, you may have to refine the system prompt, understand that none of this AI stuff is just one-shotting it. You have to refine over time. And since we did this live, I can't show you a perfect polished example of this because that's just not how it works. So really cool. So that's it. That's how you, that's three different ways to create viral YouTube videos inside of Cortex or just with AI in general. So if you don't know what kind of YouTube video to create, you don't know how to write a script, you can use AI to start and then you can learn along the way, right? That's the best way to learn anyways is to just do the thing and learn and solidify the knowledge as you actually get feedback from the real world. So if you want to try Cortex, you can just go to cortex.co.co and start playing around with everything. Use the prompts that we already have inside of the, the chat feature or create your own with what we learn to do. Be creative with it. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Enjoy creating YouTube videos and there are more tutorials coming on many things. So subscribe while you're here and I'll see you then.